Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be about how I've managed to buy Chanel bags and to avoid paying retail. Now this advice can apply to other designer handbags as well. So when I was ready to buy a Chanel bag, I needed to get clued up on what bags were authentic and which bags weren't. My number one tip, first of all, is to do your research. Now when I say that, I mean the number one research spot in terms of websites, which is the Purse Forum. Some of you may have heard of it already. I love that site for cluing you up on brands. When you go to the Chanel section, you'll see... I can't believe the phone is ringing. I mean, really? Really? Okay. <laughs> so that that's site is broken up by different brands and um, I just lurked on there for months. I clued myself up on everything and anything about Chanel bags. And so that's my number one tip is to go to a website called Spotted Fashion. Now you don't hear too many people talk about Spotted Fashion. Sorry, I've been looking above instead of talking directly into the camera. Sorry about that. Um, you can see I have not done YouTube videos for quite a while. Go to a site called Spotted Fashion. There's a lot of reference information for you on there on the years of Chanel bags, it catalogues the Chanel's going back historically and also it goes into even further depth. It talks about the hologram sticker which is inside bags and it explains the font, the different colours, the different types of hologram sticker patterns that were used over the years and which, which pattern corresponded to which year. But once you get all that, you start to really sort of build up an encyclopedia information. So now I'm going to talk to you about resale sites. Uh, the number one site that most would not even bother touching with a barge pole is the one I'm going to talk to you about first, which is eBay. Now for obvious reasons, full of scammers. Everybody knows that as a buyer and as a seller. But what I like about eBay is that there are a few trusted authentic resellers of Chanel bags and designer bags in general. One I will mention is called Fashion Hulu. They are not paying me for this. Um, I am a customer or have been a customer of theirs. I will link to them below. They have been mentioned in the Purse Forum Chanel shopping section. But if you go into that section, they will also list other um, eBay sellers who they think is trusted. And the other thing is if you are going to go on eBay, one tip to avoid being sort of scammed really, you can pay for a small fee to have um, those photos authenticated by a company that does that for a living. Oh my God, the phone is ringing again. Oh my God. Um, also, if you do see it, that's it's throwing me off. If you do see an eBay listing and um, you're not sure if you should take it or not, show it on the purse form, the authenticate this area, and the girls will let you know what they think about it. Um, another thing as well, I cannot believe the phone is ringing again. The phone is ringing again. What is going on? All right. Where was I? I don't even know where I was. Okay, sorry, I keep looking up because there's a mirror so I can see what I'm saying. See what I'm saying? Does it even make sense? Obviously, if we're going to go the non-retail route, then you should definitely use PayPal because of the buyer protection. That if you receive a bag and it's, say, not as described, um, there's a term for it, significantly not as described, or SNAD, you can... Um, provide images to PayPal of that, open a case, let them know, they will inform the, the seller as well. And as long as you have proven that, you, you know, the bag is not what they listed it as, you will get refunded, even if the seller has stated that the listing is non-refundable. So other websites I'm gonna to suggest to you are websites that you've probably heard of, but maybe I'm gonna suggest one or two that you haven't. So you've got Fashion File, you've got Anne's Fabulous Finds, Mallory's, Portero, um, who else? Purse Hop. Um, I'm looking to the side because I've got the list of what I want to talk to you about there. And also Trade C. Trade C and also The Real Real as well. Now Trade C, I don't hear too much about. Trade C I used to buy a Celine bag from. It was a Celine box. Oh, God. Sorry, I just love Celine box bags as well as Chanel bags. Um, I bought a Celine box bag from Trade C and the, the transaction was flawless. Um, before I bought it, again, just like Chanel in the beginning, I went on to the purse forum. I, I clued up myself about Celine and Celine box bags and 
what to look for and just what the real ones looked like. And so I felt like I had enough information to approach um, this seller. I asked her to send me some additional photos, which she did with no problem. And then the bag came. I brought it to the Celine boutique to have a little repair done on it. Took the bag in and they got it fixed for me, which was fantastic. The thing about resale sites, which I think is really good, is that they often will offer layaways, which is brilliant, really. So you can put a deposit down in the bag. That means you don't have to like pay the full whack for it straight away. And also, a lot of them offer refunds. All right, so another place I'm going to suggest buy a bag for less is, I can't believe I'm going to suggest this place, it's TJ Maxx. Now, I, I didn't believe that you could... You know, you could go in and find a, a, a Celine bag, but when I was doing my research about Celine box bags on um, the forum, they had a shopping section of, of people who had found them. They saw them at TJ Maxx's, and I thought, what? And one person actually got a Celine brown bag with gold hardware. It's absolutely stunning. And so I thought, right, if they can do it, I can do it. So I called around all these TJ Maxx's. A couple of them had Celine, Celine bags. It was just the fact that it was there and they do actually carry them. So, you know, you never know. And you know, at the end of the day, you know, yes, you're calling around all these different places, but if you're gonna get what you wanted and you're gonna pay like so much less for it, then I think it's worth it. Um, be patient. If you don't see what you like online, don't worry, because you know what? Eventually the bag does turn up. I'm telling you, do research. What else? And uh, credit cards as well, because you can always get a charge back um, with your credit card company if um, something goes terribly pear-shaped. It's become increasingly popular now to look to uh, resale sites to try and find these bags for less than retail. And there's no reason not to when a lot of the cases, the condition of these bags fares from fair to good to excellent to mint and never carried and like new condition. And they come with everything, right down to the camellia flower and the box and all that stuff and the ribbon and blah, blah, blah. If you're not sure maybe what bag you even want, try them on, try a Chanel bag on in the store first so you know the one you want. Um, and yeah, just be patient. I'm looking to the sides. I want to make sure I've not left anything out. If you do think, you know what, sod the saving and researching. I want, I want to treat myself. Go ahead, do it. I did it. I got. A, I have one Chanel bag that I got at Bergdorf Goodman and I swear to you, I saw that bag when the when the essay opened the box and I, I I looked at it, I swear the clouds parted and angels were singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was that kind of experience when I saw it. It was just absolutely stunning. It's a cobalt blue boy bag. I have a picture of it on my Instagram. But um I think I swore actually when he first like showed me the bag and he looked at me and went well, there's a reaction I haven't heard before. If you're going to spend retail or even less than retail, because it's still a lot, it's got to make you have a sharp intake of breath. If not, why are you going through this exercise, right? I think that's it. So give this video a thumbs up if this information was helpful and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Until then, take care.